Hello, thank you for joining me. Here's our next video in our series of uh, putting together our floor plan, which is part of our week three exercises uh, here using AutoCAD. And with this uh, portion of our, uh, our of our lesson here, we're going to be laying out some interior walls. And one of the requirements for interior walls is we want to make sure that we draw everything out to whole foot or whole inch units and no fractions of an inch. So you want to make sure that when you draw your uh, lines out for your interior walls that you uh, keep that in mind and uh, probably the best way of doing it, as I'm going to demonstrate here in a moment, is use some reference geometry and draw in lines out with reference geometry out to a specific distance. So let's go ahead and um, zoom in here a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a wall that's going to be about, I don't know, 15 feet wide and maybe 20 feet long, and we're going to create our first room. So let's go to line, go to the line command. We're going to start down here and draw out some reference geometry. Looks like I have my nearest object snap on, which I'm not always really fond of, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my settings and go ahead and change that. So, object snap, let's uncheck, unclick nearest. Nearest does have its, uh, 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 you know, its, its uh, function, but sometimes nearest comes on like all the time, and you want to choose some other things like perpendicular and midpoint and endpoint rather than nearest all the time. So, we're going to draw this wall out 15 feet. Or draw that reference line out 15 feet. I'm going to stay in a dimension layer this time just so I can see the difference between the line colors. We're going to make that 20 feet. So now I have a wall that's going to be 15 feet by 20 feet. And if I go ahead and dimension this from this point to that point, it should get a 15 foot line. And if I go from this point to that point, it should be 20 feet. Dimensions are kind of crowded. What you want to do with uh, your exterior dimensions, the larger dimensions always go out to the outside. And your interior dimensions, the ones that are shorter than that, go on the inside. And what we're going to be doing is a baseline dimension in here. And a baseline dimension means that we're going to start from one point, and all the interior walls we're going to be putting in are going to have progressively longer dimensions from a, you know, from the same uh, starting point. So we're going to be using this portion of that wall the vertical portion as it appears in your screen as a base point for those dimensions and then this line here as a base point for these dimensions. So let's go ahead and uh, finish this up. I'm going to go ahead and erase this dimension first and I'm going to finish drawing that line down and it will be in the same place. I'm going to take our reference geometry and probably get rid of that as we did and take this line and move that up because you don't want to have an interior wall actually go through the exterior wall and connect up at the end of the wall on the outside. That doesn't isn't quite right. Okay, offset. Four and a half inches. Remember we talked about that before, it's three and a half inch stud on the inside, plus a half an inch in draw of drywall on the exterior of that on both sides of that, symmetrical. Uh, it's going to add up to four and a half inches. So that is our reference. This is our reference. And we're going to be consistent when we uh, dimension these walls, by the way. We're going to dimension from the very edge of our floor, which is where the wall is going to start. The exterior wall is going to be right on top of that edge. And we're going to go to the very inside edge of all of our uh, walls on the inside. You could do the very exterior edge if you want to go to this one. You can do that. You have to make sure you get rid of those fractional inch units if you want to do that. However you do it, try to be consistent with it. If it's going to be from outside edge to inside edge for all the inside uh, walls and do so, make sure that's consistent throughout your design. So let's put in this dimension. From that point to this wall, probably to that point there, that should be 20 feet. And you want to make sure your dimension lines don't cover up your object lines as I've been talking about in class. Let's go to, uh, now that we've gotten this drawn, let's uh, go to um, Let's go to our, our match properties and change everything back to there it should be. And I'm going to make this wall continuous all the way to the back of the house. So I'm going to go to the extend command, click on that line, spacebar, click on these two lines and extend that over so that wall is continuous throughout the rest of the house. I may not keep it that way, but for now it kind of gives me reference. And then go to the trim command, trim, select everything as our trim reference. Trim that out, and we should be good to go for now. All right, we got our dimensions in there. We got our first room laid out. We're going to make that bedroom, and I'll show you the design center here in the next video.